Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Um, I sound like a man and that's okay because at least I am upright and I'm no longer bedridden. I've had the worst flu ever. So welcome to the end of May. I had to think about that. Okay, so May favorites, we're here. I've tried out so much new stuff this month. However, a lot of the stuff that is in my favorites, well, yeah, I guess a lot of it is new stuff, but some of this stuff is stuff that I've had for quite a while. All right, so for the first time, I think in the history of this channel, the majority of my favorites this month are actually skincare. I've gone hardcore on skincare this month. And that's partially because I got sent a whole bunch of new stuff, but also I've just been really trying, as the weather cools down, really trying very hard to keep moisture levels up. And again, particularly because I've been sick, um, just trying to like layer on that foundation. Unfortunately this month, well, really just the last week, I've had some dermatitis, which came from, I, I have to stay away from like cleansing, like foaming cleansers. And I tried one out that I'd been sent a little while ago and the company had sent me a few emails like following up like, hey, did you like it, blah, blah, blah. And I tried it once only and it gave me just the worst like burning. I burnt as soon as I put it on and um, it just, the next day it was all red and flaky and it doesn't matter what I do, all I need to do is just keep treating it with um, Sudacre what is it? Sudacreme, nappy rash cream and it eventually gets better after a week or so. So I think I'm on the end of that, which means that I've been really careful with this area here, but the rest of my face, I have been treating like a queen this month. All right, so let's start with the two um, favorite makeup items this month. Um, even though I've been wearing makeup all month long, I just feel like I haven't, I've tried new stuff out, but there's been nothing, well, there's been a few things that have like wowed me, but there's only been two that I've just gone, oh, I really have relied on this this month. And the first one is this, and this is, um, you would have seen this in my Pixie um, haul review video. So this is from the um, Wiley collection. Um, and it's a double-ended, um, uh, coal pencil and liquid eyeliner on the other end and I just love how stay proof this is even throughout the flu this uh, last few weeks um, with watery eyes and all the rest it has stayed put um, really can't say enough great things about this but I've just had a whole bunch of new um, pixie eye stuff come in as well so I can't wait to try that stuff out my other makeup favorite how could I not include something from this collection so um, I was lucky enough to receive this in PR um, because I missed out on it um, online well not because but it just happened that I missed out on it and then I got in PR so I was so happy about that this is just beautiful the only thing I really hate about this is that it's starting to like the, the pattern starting to fade a little bit but it's just got this really beautiful um, look on the skin where it doesn't give like that ashiness or anything like that but just this really multi-dimensional glow on your skin it's just it's so pretty and I almost wish I got a backup. <laughs> I'm so greedy. There are two primers I've enjoyed more than anything else this month. And the first one, I think I might have featured it last month as well, but it's the Photo Finish Primerizer. Um, this is now my second bottle. <laughs> so um, I went out and bought a second bottle of this because it's just um, it's just so good. It like moisturizes, but it also has that stickiness that helps your foundation um, adhere to your face. So really enjoying that. Um, one of my subscribers or Instagram followers let me know that it's actually cheaper to buy two of the 30 mils than one of the 60 mils, um, which is a bit tricky. But yeah, so definitely buy it in the travel. The other prime I've really enjoyed is this one. And this one came in an advent calendar. So I didn't go out and buy this or anything, but this is one heck of a blot from... Um, soap and glory and i've just really been enjoying this like more than my professionals and any of that it's a lot lighter and it's like it's not as um silicone -y feeling let's see if i get some out so it's a little bit more like lotiony um but it's just like it helps to keep everything matte for so long um so usually i rely on those really thick silicone -y ones but this one has really surprised me i might um I'm thinking about getting a full size of this when it runs out. I received some Tatcha products from Mecca Maxa as PR and can I be honest with you, like you never, you never want to hate something, but quite often when I get these really hyped up expensive products, I'm like, eh, they're just as good as everything else. But, and so I really was hoping not to like be wowed by this, but oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Um. Is it like does it is it more effective than any other um, oil cleanser? No, I still think my shoe um, Uemeras are fantastic. I still really love um, my Origins Modern Friction, but there's something about the texture of this which is just so luxurious. It just it feels like almost cushiony when you feel like it's so 
I don't know how to explain it. It's just, if you can get yourself a um, sample of this, I really highly recommend it. It's beautiful. And I'm kind of hating because now that I love it so much, I'm going to want to buy it and it's expensive. My voice is at the moment at the best it's been for about two weeks. So it does come in and out. Like I knew I had to do this video today, so I'm just, I'm doing it. Um, I've really loved this. It feels like, it feels like I've barely used it at all, but like, I don't know if you can see that there's a, a bit of a void there. I'm not sure. Um, I love this so much. So this again was sent to me. Um, I don't know if it's extracting like blackheads and stuff. But what I do know is that I put it on. So you put it on like dry. It's a kind of like a clay mask, which also has like exfoliating like stuff in it. So it's a white mask and you put it on. It's really thick and opaque. And I kind of give it a bit of a scrub and just leave it on for the 15 or whatever minutes it takes to dry. And then I'll rinse it off and use like a um, face halo or something like that to get rid of everything. Um, and it's just so good. Like my skin just feels so soft and smooth afterwards. The next day my makeup applies really well. Um, it's just, I really love it. Like I, I genuinely do love most of the products from Purity, like from this Philosophy line. Um, but this, I think this is my favourite so far. Um, this is one that I would definitely repurchase. So, Ole Henriksen. So this is an eye cream that has yellow pigment in it. Um, so it's the Banana Bright Eye Cream. It's got ye yellow pigment in it so that it almost like, you know how you bake with yellow powder or banana powder? Um, it kind of lays down a bit of a foundation for that colour, like that brightening under the eyes. So it's definitely not enough to wear on its own, but it is an eye cream which then has that added benefit. And it's a really nice eye cream as well. So this is one that I definitely use um, during the day. Um, it just is a really nice smooth um, cream. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice one. I've been using this one for roughly about a month because I went to the launch of this and then it got put aside because I had some other stuff I wanted to use. Um, a little bit goes a long way, but it's not too heavy. Like I feel like it's perfect for daytime because you can wear it under your makeup. I mean, all about the oils this month and um, I have some really expensive oils, but the one I've really been favoring over most of the others is this one from Asano. This is the Asano Radiance Certified Organic Facial Oil. Because it's Asano, I'm gonna assume that it's got rosehip oil, um, but it's, it's kind of cheap packaging, but I love the stuff in it. Um, so I'll typically go and use my serum, my moisturizer, and then put some of that on my hands and just press it into the face. Again, your skin feels so soft the next day. I am almost at the end of this. This is the Dermalogica Sleep Sound Cocoon. Oh, sorry, Sound Sleep Cocoon. Um, this is, it's got really interesting packaging in that you can lock it and unlock it. But what I don't like about this sort of packaging is that you can't see where you're up to. So lately when I've been um, pumping, a little bit less has been coming out. So it makes me think that I'm almost finished. So this is a transformative night gel cream. And it's a very, I mean, it's a good name for a gel cream. Um, just the tiniest amount goes very, very far. And it's the last step that I often use before I go to bed. Some nights I don't go ahead and do my oil and blah, 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 blah. I'll just do a really nice moisturizer before bed, like a serum moisturizer. And then just before bed, like as I'm getting into bed, this is this actually lives on my um, nightstand. I will use two pumps of this all over my face and just really like tap it in. And it has really nice, I think it's a lavender scent. Anyway, it's got that really botanical scent. Um, I really, really like this and I think I'm gonna buy one. Oh, I really like this. All right, finally, two sprays. Okay, I can't believe it's taken me this long to try this out. I've been using uh, this one, the rose water one and the lavender one together. So there's not that much use. Um, but I've been using this almost every day just as like a wake up. Um, so as soon as I wash my face, come in here to do my makeup, I'll just and then get started with my makeup. And I just love it. Um, I don't know if it does anything, but it just smells really good. It makes your face feel nice and fresh. And it's definitely one of those ones that I might grab a, um, like a sample size to keep in my bag for summer. But yeah, I'm really bummed. Like I've tried so much of this brand, but I'm so bummed that I, I've waited this long to try this. And then lastly, again, another product, you don't hate me. Because again, I wanted to just think that it was all hype. And I mean, this is just a beautiful spray. This was gifted to me. I did not buy it. I'm using it really, really um, sparingly because I don't want to go through it. The mister is perfect. The packaging is beautiful. The spray smells are beautiful. It just gives your face a really nice, dewy look. I don't want to love it. I want to love the budget stuff so I can say, hey guys, those big prices aren't like, they're not worth it. And then I try things and I'm like, so yeah, that's pretty much all from me. They're my favorites for this month. I'd love to know what you loved. I'm just about ready to go have a lie down, I have to tell you.
<laughs> shooting two videos today is just like taking it out of me um but yeah so thanks so much for watching as usual uh thanks for coming and spending a little bit of time around my little corner of the internet i'm really sick bye